Here's the gap in the words of somewhere. She loves my flag. <laughs> Rally round the flag. Wow. Wow. Oh, Elvis, that was, uh, that was beautiful. But, you know, in, uh, in all honesty, um, I, really, I really loved your... Uh, earlier, you know, angrier stuff, you know, uh, pump it up. <laughs> now, that was a song. <laughs> oh, and, uh, and when we're on the subject, Sean, um, why don't you do funny stuff like you used to? I mean, fast times rule, man. <laughs> Come on, uh, do, do a little Spicoli for us. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> this isn't funny. Uh-oh, let me hands. Nausea. Guys? <laughs> Guys? We were trying to figure out why Charlie hates you. Yeah. Well, Charlie? Okay, fine. Here it is. I'm not saying I hate you. But if I did, it might have something to do with the fact that you're a narcissistic bloodsucker who drove my father into an early grave. After which, you married a succession of men who couldn't care less about Alan and me which was just fine with you, because you looked at us like a couple of dancing monkeys. You could just haul out whenever it suited you. And when it didn't, you sent us off to boarding school or camp or that kibbutz in Israel where we got beat up because we weren't even Jewish. <laughs> and now, now you show up here every chance you get to lay a guilt trip on me for not appreciating my cold, lonely, loveless childhood. Obviously, you're not ready to talk about it. <laughs> Uncle Charlie, I had a weird dream. And it's getting weirder. Hey, buddy. Why aren't you asleep? I'm hoping I am. <laughs> Hello, Jake. Hello, Miss Pasternak. <laughs> uh, listen, buddy, Miss Pasternak and I are kind of having a sleepover because we're like, you know, friends. No way. <laughs> Jake, I'm only your teacher from 8.15 to 3 o'clock. After that, I'm just a person like anybody else. Oh, this is more wrong than the time I saw Santa peeing at the mall. <laughs> Hey, why don't we wrap up this after-school special and call it a night? Don't worry, Jake. This won't change anything between you and me at school. So you're still gonna be mean to me? <laughs> That's right. Same old junkyard dog. Come on, buddy. Get some sleep. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna sleep now. <laughs> Do you think he'll be okay? Sure. He's just not used to seeing his teacher out of the classroom. And her pants. <laughs> don't worry. I'll talk to him in the morning, make sure he's okay, and that he keeps this to himself. Thank you, Charlie. Oh, Miss Pastor. How come you never call me by my first name? I don't know. This just seems way hotter. <laughs> Charlie? Yes, Miss Pasternak? Do you think Jake believes we're just friends? Why not? We are, right? I mean, once I get to know you better, I'm pretty sure I'd consider you a friend. Charlie, we both know there's much more than friendship going on between you and me. Much? More? How much more? Well, I know this is pretty quick, and I don't want to use the L word. Good, thank you. But this feels an awful lot like love. I'm sorry, which L word didn't you want to use? <laughs> oh, Charlie. Come on. Let's go to sleep. Yeah, like I'm gonna sleep now. <laughs> men. Men. Can you uh, reach the pedals? Yeah, can we turn on the radio? Forget the radio. Which one's the window squirter? Okay, forget the squirter. Now, come on, focus. Now, this is your rear view mirror. It's very important to check it before you back up. Okay. Now, you, well, what do you see? The top of Uncle Charlie's head. A shopping cart, a tree, soda can, 
looks like Mountain Dew. Okay, forget the rearview mirror. We're just we're just gonna go forward. Now you know this is the brake and this is the gas. That was electric. He's got you there, Alan. Okay, this is the brake and this is the electric. Now they're very 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 sensitive, so you don't have to press hard. Okay. No. I should give it a little tap. Is it on? No. Whoa! Break! 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 Okay. Apparently it is on. Oh, this is awesome. Now you see how careful you have to be? Uh-huh. And how much closer we are to the dumpsters? Can I squirt the windows now? No, no. Okay, why don't you turn the wheel slightly to the left and very gently press down on... Whoa! Trust me, you'll feel better getting this done tonight. Then we'll have the whole weekend to have fun. Yeah, but what if we don't have fun? Then all this studying will be for nothing. That's just a risk we'll have to take. <laughs> now, what year did Magellan circumnavigate the globe? It's not gonna be on the test. Maybe not, but it wouldn't hurt for you to know it anyway. Why would I wanna know something I don't have to? Because maybe you'll need to know it in the future. Well, then that's when I'll learn it. <laughs> Why can't you just learn it now? Because there's only so much space in my brain that if you put Magellan in there, I might forget my locker combination. Charlie, help me out here. What? Jake doesn't think he needs to know anything about Magellan. What's Magellan? Ha uh ha. -huh. Okay, I'm out of here. Won't be late. Oh, I'm sorry. Bad news from the clinic? <laughs> no, I'm just taking Sherry out for a nice dinner. After which I plan to gently but firmly extricate myself from the relationship. Oh, so she got bad news from the clinic? <laughs> There's no bad news. There's no clinic. I'm just ending it. Why? Because she's a self-centered, manipulative narcissist. So are you. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> he said narcissist. It's not a dirty word. Oh. What does it mean? Well, if you want to know what it means, why don't you look it up in the dictionary? Okay. He's not coming back. Three, four, five, six, seven. Are you decent? Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven. What's up? Nothing. Just came in to say goodnight. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Why? Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, nothing. You just seemed a little stressed out before, and I was concerned. Oh. Thanks. You're a, you're a good brother. Three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> you do that every night? Are you kidding? After every meal. Three, four, five, six, seven. You are tightly wrapped, aren't you? The price of healthy gums is eternal vigilance. Oh, God, I can't do this anymore. Do what? I have to tell you something. Okay. Come on out in the bedroom. All right. What are you doing? You'll understand in a minute. Uh, I thought you had to tell me something. I do. There is no bad Alan. I'm the one who stole the silly putty and put it in your pocket when you weren't looking. Three, four, five, six, seven. Damn you to hell! Come out here and die like a man! What do you know? There is a bad Alan. Hey, you Charlie? Maybe. Who's asking? I'm Daisy, the caterer. You're Berta's sister? Say, Mom, Dad's a little iffy. <laughs> Berta said if I wanted a shot of your bourbon, I had to come up and ask you first. Yeah, sure. Knock yourself out. Thanks. <laughs> I don't usually drink before noon, but I'm going through a little bit of a rough patch. Well, that's why they make bourbon. <laughs> My husband left me for another woman. Know how I found out? To tell you the truth. Relax, it's rhetorical. <laughs> They waved to me as they drove my house out of the trailer park. That's sad. 
Yeah. I had that double wide 11 years. <laughs> Larry was with me for four. Of course, six months of those were house arrests. So I can't really give him credit for that. <laughs> you know, I haven't gotten up to pee yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> Larry was nothing when I met him. He was working at some kosher slaughterhouse out in Fontana before they fired him for being mean to the cattle. What? The Jewish laws dictate that the animals have to be treated kindly before they get whacked. Larry would taunt them. Hey, hamburger, guess what's gonna happen to you? <laughs> anyway, I picked him up off his sorry unemployed ass. I gave him hair plugs, contact lenses, teeth. <laughs> Bastard dumped me for this tiny little Korean manicure who huffs nail polish from over between appointments. Well, you give a guy hair and teeth, he's bound to hook up with trash. <laughs> oh, she was pretty hot. She had spray on tan, Botox up the yin yang. Couldn't tell if she was 20 or 60. <laughs> Relax, it's not what you think. We're just having a drink. Good idea. <laughs> you listen to me, Daisy Ray. Just because I got us this job doesn't mean I won't do all the cooking by myself. I'm coming down there. Don't start acting like you're doing me some big favor. Oh, excuse me for trying to help my broke, homeless baby sister. I'm not homeless. I have a home. I just don't know where it's parked. <laughs> and I wouldn't be broke if you would have paid me my share of Mama's estate. What estate? It was a shoebox full of corn pads, used lottery tickets, and insulin. It's the first I'm hearing about the insulin. <laughs> Excuse me, but shouldn't we be, you know, cooking something for my mother's party? Hang on, Charlie. You know, I am sick of you insinuating that I stole all that crap Mama left me. She didn't leave it to you. You were just the first one back in the house after she flatlined. Oh, and where were you? At some ashram in Oregon? I was learning from my guru how to channel my spirit guide. Oh, please, you were humping a defrocked priest in the woods. How about stuffed mushrooms? Everybody loves those. You know, that's your problem your whole life, Daisy. You chase after these losers, you take care of them, you fix them up, and then they hop on the first manicurist out of town. You're just jealous, Berta, because I've had love in my life. Yeah? You know what you got in your life now? Squat. No husband, no one to do your nails, and eight cinder blocks where your house used to be. I swear to God, Berta! One more word out of you, and I'm gonna knock you on your keister. Okay, okay, there's no reason. Squat! Oh, no, 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 if I stop making love, I drown. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wait a sec, wait a sec. Sharks don't growl. All right. Uh, I'm a love bear. <laughs> if I stop making love, I prevent forest fire. <laughs> Put that out. Here we go. You are a hungry little girl. Of course she was hungry. She must have dropped half her body weight in that last diaper. Uh, what a good burp. Wasn't that a good burp, Charlie? Oh, yeah. Wait till you meet my nephew. He can belch the theme from Shaft. All right, good night, sweetheart. Oh, there we go. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm a little tired. Aren't you tired? What's wrong? Nothing. Was it the breastfeeding? Because in the restaurant, it turned you on. I know, but there, I wasn't on deck. So you don't want to fool around? It's not that. It's just, I'm looking at the sexiest woman in the world, and all I can see is a thermos. Charlie, there are things you do with your penis that aren't exactly a turn-on. You mean the puppet shows? <laughs> I thought you loved the amazing adventures of Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> That's not what I meant. No, come on. Come to Mama. Okay, time. <laughs> come to Mama bumps me a little. Can we make it come to Catholic schoolgirl? 
Yes, Monsignor. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, no. What do we want to bet Shrek here since right in front of us? Don't worry, it'll be all right. Ah! <laughs> you had to eat the chili cheeseburger. <laughs> Um, that, that wasn't really necessary. Ah, uh, you would have done the same thing for me. I'm not so sure. <laughs> so, Alan, tell me about yourself. What would you like to know? Everything. I really don't know that much about you, aside from the fact that you're Charlie's brother and Jake's dad. Graduated from Cal State Long Beach, married your college sweetheart, and sometimes in the middle of the night when you're half asleep, you pee sitting down. <laughs> have you been spying on me? No, silly. I spy on Charlie. You just get in the way sometimes. You know what? Why don't you tell me about you? Oh, okay. Well, let's see. I, too, pee sitting down, so we have that in common. Mm -hmm. I come from a wealthy family, so I guess I've had kind of a sheltered life, you know, fancy private schools and colleges. No kidding. What, uh, what college did you go to? Princeton, but just for two years. Oh, well, so you, you dropped out. No, I finished. <laughs> Then I came back to California to do my master's at Stanford. That's amazing. Uh, what's your degree in? <laughs> Behavioral psychology. My heart was in the right place, Rose. I know. All I wanted to do was apologize. I had no ulterior motives. I believe you. Thank you. Did I ever apologize to you? You mean for our one-night stand that kind of, sort of, broke my heart? Yeah, for that. No, not really. Okay, well, I am truly sorry. You're a wonderful person and you deserve better. Thank you, Charlie. That's sweet. I mean it. What's that? Oh, this is one of those new, uh, web browser email gadgets. Cool. <laughs> Just tell me you want me. Go ahead, Charlie. Tell her. What? No, no, you two with the dungeons, the dragons, the boggle. You're the ones who should be together. No, clearly she wants you, so let's be grown up and I'll just get out of the way so the two pretty people can mate. No, 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 you laid the foundation and you should, you know, lay the rest of it. Charlie, I appreciate what you're trying to do, you're a good brother, but I am stepping aside. No, 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 so no. I'm stepping aside. No, no, I am. No, 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 I'll no, step aside I'm and I will step clear aside the way. Will you both just shut up? You're ruining everything! Nice, nice going. going. <laughs> Say it, Charlie. Say what? Say that slick, cool Charlie Harper finally wants Eckleberry Hound. Ew. <laughs> you knew about that name? That name scarred me for life. It's a reason I haven't eaten a carbohydrate since college. Well, you do look good. You're damn right I look good, you smug, shallow son of a bitch. I have spent years working and sweating and dreaming about the day that I would be able to rub your smarmy nose in it. Okay, I'm getting mixed signals here. This is the signal, Charlie. You can't have this. Not now, not ever. Never, never, never! You know, I didn't make up the Eckleberry Hound thing. But he did spread it around. I, I was always your friend. Oh, please. I spent years throwing myself at you, friend. Playing stupid nerd games on my bed with my shirt open, buddy. Hoping and praying that you would kiss me, or touch me, or at least notice me as a woman. Pal! You knew your shirt was open? Who do you think opened it? Oh. But I wasn't pretty enough for you. You wanted Donna DeMarco, or Maxine Chernikoff, just because they had big boobs and no excess facial hair. Oh yeah, Donna DeMarco, old double D. <laughs> Jamie, I had no idea. I am so sorry. But I, I was a stupid teenager. I, I, I guess I just didn't appreciate you then. I guess not. But that was a long time ago. I'm not a stupid teenager anymore. Do you think maybe you could forgive me and maybe we could 
Try again. Is that what you really want, Alan? Very much. Well, eat your heart out. <laughs> you can never have this. Never, never, never! <laughs> I guess we know why she's still single. <laughs> okay, homework's taken care of. He's taking a shower. Uh, you may want to check in on him in a few minutes, make sure he's not goofing around in there. Where are you going? Oh, uh, I have dinner plans. Really? Yeah, hard to believe, huh? I didn't say that. I'm happy for you. Well, thank you. And again, I'm, I'm sorry I overreacted the other night. I really do want us to have the kind of friendship that can be, you know, mutually supportive. Me too. You'll go out? I'll go out. Right. So, is this someone you've been seeing for a while? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, a, a while. Um, but, you know, not exclusive. I don't want to get tied down. <laughs> oh, oh, that must be Camille. She picks you up? Well, what can I say? It's a new world, Judith. <laughs> hey, yow, wow. You are so good for my ego. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Camille. Hello, I'm Judith. You're Alan's ex? Wow, I, I didn't expect you to be so young looking. Thank you. I mean, you have such beautiful skin for the mother of an 11-year-old. Oh, thank you. Okay, well, we, we should get going. It was nice meeting you. Uh-huh. I just hope I look half as good as her when I'm that old. I'm betting you will. Man, I don't know how he does it. I made a big play for her, nothing. She's so young. Yeah, some guys like that. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, Judith. You were very mature about the whole thing. I guess that's because you're a very mature woman. Yeah, thanks. Jake, say goodbye to Mommy! She's going home! <laughs> Is that you? Alan's here too, Mom. Hi, Mom. Boys, you didn't have to come. Are you kidding? Of course we did. Mm. Right, Alan? Of course. Tell us what happened. I came home this afternoon alone. I was walking up the stairs alone. <laughs> <laughs> and I had trouble breathing. So I drove myself to the hospital. Alone. Well, why did you drive yourself? I didn't want to bother the ambulance people. <laughs> why didn't you call us? Oh, you both made it very clear how you feel about me. No, that's not fair. Just tell Jake. His grandmommy loves him. Very much. Don't talk like that. You can tell him yourself after the operation. What operation? <laughs> relax, relax. Quadruple bypass is a routine these days. Quadruple? Yeah, yeah, you got four clogged arteries. Right, Alan? Uh, right. The, the doctor said it's, it's lucky you came when you did. Uh, another few days and you'd have been flopping around on the floor like a carp. <laughs> It's no big deal, Mom. They just crack you open, flush out the pipe, sew you back up, and you're good as new. <laughs> Except, you know, for the big gnarly scar on your chest. Well, they're prepping the OR as we speak. We got the best surgeon available on short notice. He's young, but really sharp. And very well respected in his own country. <laughs> well, all right. If it has to be done. It has to be done. <laughs> Oh, 
I love you, boys. <laughs> if the worst should happen, please remember that. Yeah, sure, of course. Oh, my God, Evelyn, are you all right? Oh, Judith, is that you? It's right here. Jake's here, too. Oh, Jake, come to Grandmommy, darling. Sure you feel that, Grandma. Oh. Grandmommy's feeling much better now that her little man is here. Made you a get well card. Oh, isn't that nice? The gift shop wasn't open. <laughs> what kind of a father are you? Hey, I am a good father. The minute he threw up, I canceled the trip. But you were planning to take my 11-year-old child to Las Vegas. It's really a family town now. <laughs> the mob hardly has any influence at all anymore. <laughs> Oh, good, Charlie. That helps. When were you planning on telling me about this trip? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Oh, good, Jake. That helps. Honey, why don't you go lie down? Why? I'm fine. Uncle Charlie, is it too late to get our beds down with Coop? What beds? Who's Coop? Go lie down. You're delirious. <laughs> Listen, Judith, I don't think you understand the true ramifications of what's going on here. Oh, really? Yeah. You see, this trip was my idea. I'm shocked. Let me finish. You see, I wanted to cheer Alan up because... Charlie, don't. It's personal. She has a right to know. Judith, Alan got some bad news from the doctor yesterday. Oh, my God, Alan, what is it? Well, the doctor says I have to have a colonoscopy. Are you having problems? No, it's just routine. So? So I'm, I'm really nervous about it. That's it? Well, it's a long, snaky thing with a camera. Oh, please. Your son was 10 pounds at birth and his head was the same size it is now. That's kind of apples and oranges, isn't it? Goodbye, Alan. Wait, 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 Judith. Aren't you going to take Jake with you? No, I'm not taking him. He's fine. And, and, and don't think I don't see what's going on here. You put Jacob to tell me he's sick so you could pawn him off on me while you went gallivanting off to Las Vegas. Well, he did throw up. Smell the umbrella stand. I'm not buying it. I'll be back to get him Monday night. If I find out you went ahead and took him to Vegas, you'll be getting a colonoscopy from my attorney. I've seen your alimony checks. You already got one. God, what a day. I don't want to hear it. You know why I was being audited? Not because I have unsubstantiated deductions, which I have. Not because I take the occasional cash payment from a client and forget to report it, which I do. It was because no one at the IRS could believe I was paying as much alimony as I claimed. It took me three hours to convince them that, yes, I am that big a schmuck. Oh, boo-hoo. You want a real fun time? Try finding an extra small Ben Franklin costume at 9 o'clock in the morning. Oh, right. The play. Uh, how was it? Buffo. The smash. Among the highlights were a 12-year-old Chinese George Washington with a powdered wig and a snot bubble. And your kid in a bald cap and granny glasses holding a Tweety Bird kite and announcing he's discovered elasticity. Oh, I wish I'd seen it. Oh, don't worry, you will. It was videotaped from about 150 different angles. I should tell him I'm sorry I wasn't there. Yeah, you should. Is he in his room? Uh-oh. Mr. Harper, I'm Dr. Talmadge. Hello, doctor. <laughs> Hallelujah, it's a miracle. <laughs> no. So, I see you're having some back pain. That'll be a hundred dollars, please. <laughs> yeah, it started in my back, but now it's kind of radiating out into a body-wide, unbearable agony. You have a really cute little nose, you know that? <laughs> Did the pain start in your lower back? Best I can tell, it's a spasm between L4 and L5. Oh, are you a doctor? Yes, I'm a chiropractor. So, no. 
How did this happen? Well, I uh, slipped on an actress. <laughs> I can handle this, Alan. Okay, see, the thing is, I was in the middle of... An actress. <laughs> I'm warning you. Do the details really matter? No, no, I think I got the picture. There's video if you need it. <laughs> Keep it up. Okay, I see here your last visit was four years ago. A mild hernia brought about by... Okay, I think I'm seeing a pattern here. He's a sexual compulsive with narcissistic tendencies. Oh, so you're a pretend psychiatrist, too. <laughs> so what's the course of treatment here? A pill, a shot, maybe one of those epidurals? We'll see. First, I'm going to get your blood pressure and take some x-rays. I take blood pressure and x-rays. Your mother must be very proud. <laughs> Actually, no. Someone will be right in to take you to x-ray. Wait, I'm still in pain. Try and hang in there. In the meantime, maybe your little buddy can give you a massage. <laughs> can you believe her? Yeah, she is something else. Oh, Charlie, please don't tell me you're interested in that condescending, arrogant excuse for a woman. Pardon me, Alan, but that is a condescending, arrogant, hot excuse for a woman. <laughs> She's just your typical obnoxious MD. I'm a doctor. I have special license plates. I can park wherever I want. <laughs> I don't know where I want to park. You're unbelievable. Does your penis have an off switch? A pause button? No, just a little freckle. And you're always telling me I should date a better class of woman. What's classier than a doctor? Oh, please. Four years of med school, two years of internship, a year of residency, and everybody thinks they're so special. But I'll tell you something. A new day is dawning, a day of reckoning, and it is spelled H-M-O. No more country clubs, no more Cadillacs. Just sky-high insurance premiums and low, slow copay reimbursements. Just like the rest of us. I bet she knows a lot of secret anatomy stuff. You know, places you touch and the top of your head flies off. Of course, if you have sex with a doctor, there's always a chance they'll have to split in the middle of the night for an emergency call. Well, Charlie, I guess that's just a price you'll have to pay. No, no, that works for me. Are you going to tell me what's bothering you? If you don't know, there's no point discussing it. Fine. You ignored me the whole night. I'm at a party where I don't know anyone, and you just abandoned me. Alan, listen closely. It wasn't a real date. That's not the point. I mean, I, I was stuck playing truth or dare with your friend Eric and nine producers from Will and Grace while you were having a wonderful time talking to his hot ex-wife. I was just being polite. Oh, please. I saw the way you were looking at her. <laughs> what, I can't look? Not when you're supposed to be with me. How many apple teenies did you drink tonight? <laughs> Never you mind about that. So, so what are you going to do? Uh, out yourself as a straight man so you can sleep with your little Pamela? No, no. That would mess everything up with Eric. Unless I convince him that she temporarily flipped me back to the home team. Oh, if you're going to go, just go. Alan, eat something, toast, a waffle, anything absorbent. <laughs> Don't blame this on the liquor. Okay, here's what I can do. She and I are going shopping tomorrow. I'll tell her I'm bisexual and then make my move. So you're going to cheat on me? No, that's not cheating. How do you figure? Because we're not really gay. <laughs> Then how can you be bi? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, well, good night. Aren't you gonna ask? No. Jake told me. Madame? Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'd like to see the wine list. No, thank you. I'll just have a glass of the Woodbridge Pinot Noir. Or should we get a bottle? Oh, definitely get a bottle. Coffee for me. <laughs> you know, uh, Sherry, I I I'd really like to see more of you. Well, maybe we should wait and see how tonight goes. No, I, I mean, I've only got the one good eye. Could, could we change places? Oh, sure.
Oh, yes, yes, fine. This is a, a nice place. Oh, it's my favorite. You ever come here with Charlie? <laughs> I don't know, probably. Huh. He's a big uh, steak eater. I'm more of a, a fish guy, you know. I'm surf, he's turf. <laughs> and we're cops. <laughs> You're very cute. You too. <laughs> All right. So, tell me about yourself. Well, there's uh, not a lot to tell. Uh, I was the San Fernando Valley Chiropractor of the Year, if you follow that kind of thing. Uh, recently divorced, but not, not too recently. I've already had my rebound transitional relationship, so no worries there. Good to know. Actually, well, it wasn't so much a, a relationship as a case of mistaken identity, but um, I, I think it still counts. Okay. And uh, as you know, I, uh, I live with uh, Charlie, whom you've already... Met? Yeah, let's go with Matt. Alan, is my having dated Charlie going to be a problem for you? No, 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 a little. Okay, look, Charlie and I, we had a very brief, superficial relationship. Okay, to be honest, it was mostly about sex. Great. <laughs> my point is, I'm tired of those, those shallow relationships I was having with guys like Charlie. You know, I, I, I want to be with a man who can be sensitive and caring, nurturing. You know, somebody who can make me laugh, make me think. You do realize I'm straight, right? <laughs> you really are adorable. Thank you. I, uh, I tend to bring out the mothering instinct in women. Oh, really? Ironically, not my mother. <laughs> I'm just saying I think it would really help you guys if you could sit down and share your feelings. <laughs> Fine, Rose. Choke on it, princess. Bite me, bitch. I think you may have anticipated that. Not Freudian. But mine's bigger. <laughs> it's a banana, you moron! It's not just about you and Charlie, you know. There's that innocent little Moppet to consider. Moppet? <laughs> I'm baking air biscuits, get them while they're hot! process it now, but he picks up on all the negative emotion around here. Save yourself! Run for your life! <laughs> okay, well, if you can get Charlie to agree, I'll do it. Good. And as a rule, when he says they're bad, you better take his word for it. <laughs> oh, please, Alan. I grew up with two older brothers and... Oh, my God! <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Harry's funeral. I haven't seen him so drained of bodily fluids since our honeymoon. Why? I thought I'd open with a joke. <laughs> My name is Evelyn Harper. Or, as dear Harry used to call me, his sweet little sugar tushy. <laughs> when I first met Harry, I was just a hot young widow with bills to pay who could lick the chrome off a trailer hitch. <laughs> I also had two small boys, one of whom Harry cared for very deeply. The other one was Charlie. <laughs> it wasn't easy being a substitute father, but Harry gave it his all. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough, which is probably why he looked for solace in the arms of a cheap slut. <laughs> Stand up, Christine. Let everybody have a look at you. <laughs> Hello. 
take a good look, Heather. That's going to be you someday. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm being disrespectful to the grieving widow. But listen, you want to talk grieving? I'm grieving. I love this man with all my heart. And you left me, you lousy bastard. Well, take a good look. I've still got a great ass, and yours is decomposing as we speak. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. That, that was beautiful. Time to go. I'll call you. Dad, what about my Game Boy? Get it. Just keep walking. <laughs> Come on, Trudy. Come on. Come on. Let's, uh, let's get you back to the Bat Cave. Or oh, whatever right. cave you crawled out of. Thank you, Tom. You are indeed a gentleman. Allow me to reward you. Mmm, <laughs> salty. I shall now need a slice of lime and a carafe of tequila. Uh, no, thank you. No, no, we're, we're fine. Come on, Trudy. Let's, let's take you home. Oh, okay. But we'll have to be really quiet, because my roommate is detoxing, so she's kind of a light sleeper. No, no I, I meant home to your father. Oh, God! Daddy! Oh, I'm such a disappointment to you! Hey, your aftershave has alcohol in it. You don't understand, Charlie. It was a woman's volleyball team, and I could have been the volleyball. Get your priorities straight, will you? I've got my priorities straight. I've had a kid for 11 years, but I've never had group sex. Alan, oh, you didn't miss anything. It's an overrated male fantasy. Really? No, are you kidding? <laughs> you better be scarred for life. Mom? Oh, hello, boys. What happened? Where, where's Jake? I sent him up to take a bath. He had hot dogs and spaghetti in his hair. Why would he have hot dogs and spaghetti in his hair? Because he wouldn't eat squab. <laughs> squab. Hey, what are you guys doing here? We just wanted to see how things were going. They're okay. See? He's fine. Let's go back to the bar. And take me with you. Jake? Yeah? Did you turn the water off in the bathtub? Um... Say goodbye to Grandma. Goodbye, Grandma. Goodbye. Uh... Is my dog chipping it for you? She wasn't wearing a ring, and there was no mention of a husband. Is that supposed to cheer me up? No, no, no. I just wanted you to know. Now, 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 I get it. You're a nice guy, and I married a skeevy tramp. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, yeah, I am a nice guy, but I'm sure Annette is a lovely woman. Her name is Natalie. <laughs> really? You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Because I've been yelling Annette all night. <laughs> Her name is Natalie. Well, then maybe this is all just a huge misunderstanding, and I've been upstairs doing someone else's wife. Five foot six, long brown hair, butterfly tattoo on her left hip. Left hip, huh? <laughs> well, hold on now. A lot of women have butterfly tattoos. But the one I slept with also had a little beauty mark in a certain intimate place. I'm not here to claim a lost wallet. <laughs> Okay, let's just assume it's her. Again, I am really sorry. It's my own fault, anyway. I should have realized back when I married her, a man my age couldn't satisfy a woman that young. If it makes you feel any better, I couldn't ring her bell either. <laughs> you don't know me, but there's certain things I don't kid about. So, it's not just me. That's a relief. Tell me about it. I was killing myself. <laughs> 
So anyway, are we okay? You mean aside from the fact that you just rolled off my wife? <laughs> oh yeah, we're aces. Good, thank you. Can I give you a little advice, kid? Sure. I was a player once, like you. Do tell. <laughs> Does the name Tuesday Weld mean anything to you? No. Joey Heatherton. No. The immortal Miss Anne Francis. TV's Honey West. Sorry. Well, look them up on your internet. They were all hot and I nailed them. Really? Well, kudos. But nothing lasts forever. There's going to come a time when you'll want to settle down. And I only hope you don't make the same mistake I did. I picked a young hottie because I figured I'd die in the sack with a smile on my face. That's my retirement plan. But it doesn't work that way. What happens is, you get your heart broken, and you wind up having a coffee class with some putz who never heard of Honey West. <laughs> Got it. Thanks for the advice. Yeah, well, I'll be getting home now. I got lawyers to call, locks to change. Maybe I'll stop off at the market, pick up some of those cookies. Here, take the box. Oh, thanks. Looks like I'm the big winner around here today. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Oh. Hello, who are you? Norman. Oh, hello, Norman. I'm Evelyn. Is that your magnificent Rolls Royce out in the drive? Why, well, yes, it is. Are you a friend of Charlie's? No, but my wife is. <laughs> Did my son... Polish your trophy wife. <laughs> well, you seem like a very intelligent man. I assume you had an airtight prenup. Bulletproof. You know what, Norman? You look a lot like my fifth husband. Really? How many times have you been married? Four. 